I'm really excited to report out on our uh, summer reading uh, initiative and results. Uh, today was a spectacular day as we were able to uh, get together with our groups, um, facilitated by community members, teachers, administrators, um, to talk about the books we read. Uh, the whole thought process uh, came out with some initial uh, ideas by some teachers uh, in our building. Rachel Barnes and Sarah Wheaton had spearheaded the initiative. The summer reading program changed this year uh, largely because a lot of students felt that they weren't able to engage or connect with books because they hadn't selected them themselves. People weren't really passionate about them. Um, we were hoping by doing this that students would all be able to find something that they could gain information, knowledge on their own level and come to it in their own way. And I think that was really successful for a lot of our students this time. One of our goals in the English department for actually the entire school system is to have students develop the habit of reading for enjoyment. And so we're hoping that this was a good step into that position of reading for enjoyment and talking about it the way adults do in communities when they choose books to read that they love and talk about it with friends and family. It's taking that whole idea of doing work in the summertime for school to a different level. I had been hearing kids come in in September and they were anything but happy about the reading that they did about they did over the summer vacation. It seemed like it was more work and being someone that loves to read, I really wanted I really want kids to love reading as much as I do. And I'm not seeing teenagers read as much as I would like them to. It seems like they are so busy during the school year. It also seems like they have, that all the reading that they're doing is something that somebody's telling them to do. And I know how big of a part reading has played in my life and I really want kids to enjoy it instead of just thinking of it as a job. I liked how we were able to choose our own book. I liked how we could pick any book that we were comfortable reading. We didn't have to be forced to read something we weren't going to enjoy. Um, I liked how we divide into small different groups. It wasn't really like crazy with like 50 kids. It was just like a group of 10. Everyone had their own opinions and I thought it was very like planned very well. And I'm the assistant director of Brooks Free Library in Harwich. And when Miss Wheaton asked me if I would be interested in leading a book group, I said absolutely. Um, I was thrilled to get Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows because I knew all the kids that were picking that one were really committed to reading it and had to really love and enjoy the series. Um, so we had a great discussion and um, really enjoyed it. Everyone was involved and we got to give our own inputs on the book and how we thought that yeah, it should have um, ended or so how um, the story kind of went and, and if we understood it and everyone got to say okay. their part which so, was really um, nice and I thought it was very involved and I liked it. <laughs> I read the basketball junkies so um, it was interesting to learn about Chris Heron and all of the drug stuff he went through and uh, what we talked about today it mostly just went over the book and reviewed it and just um, it was cool. The excitement in the air was palpable as we uh, laid those books and choices out. Kids love choices. They flocked to certain books and they chose the book. And uh, we found that instead of uh, being told what to read, they had choices what to read. And now it culminated today in uh, book group studies with some food and some fun and some friendships being formed. And I think the culture at the school is that reading is fun and it can be enjoyable. And that summer work, if you will, uh, can be enjoyable too if kids have choices and are doing things that they love.